so plain and precious. Finally, the Book of Mormon is the keystone of Emmanuel. Just as the arch crumbles, if the keystone is removed, so does all the church fall with the truthfulness of the Book of Mormon. The enemies of the church understand this clearly. One of our brethren some years ago spoke of the payment of tithing as fire insurance. Nonetheless, the word of the Lord is clear that those who do not keep the commandments and observe the laws of God shall be burned at the time of his coming. For that shall be a day of judgment, a day of sifting, a day of separating the good from the evil. I would venture a personal opinion that no event has occurred in all the history of the earth as dreadful as will be the day of the second coming as fraught with the destructive forces of nature, as consequential for the nations of the earth, as terrible for the wicked, and as wonderful for the righteous. Travis Wayne Goodsell. I grew up in Southern California. Born and raised in the Covenant Mormon, but my parents made sure to live in brand new white supremacist suburban homes so yeah I was rich even though my parents chose family over wealth <clears throat> so that uh, I wasn't as privileged as uh, single kids or a uh, kid with just one other sibling But uh, being in a white supremacist environment, I heard all of the abuses from them. I couldn't escape it. I had to go to school. <clears throat> and the abominable thinking processes that they had was sickening. So I really didn't have any friends that I hung out with after school. Participated in sports, but did the sport, did the school, came home afterward. And then it didn't help that being born in the Covenant Mormon my parents were also white supremacist, which is why they chose to live in white supremacist neighborhoods. And so I didn't want to be in the family. Stayed in my room. If I wasn't doing other things like watching TV. And I've learned the pattern of practice of white supremacists, their bullying nature, their need to dominate and control over others, to force people to believe lies, and to help them spread the lies so that they can laugh. The intimidation, the threats, the extortion, that if they can get people to commit suicide, there's something more to laugh at. But they do it to themselves or in the company of other white supremacists. Because when they do something bad, they go silent and go hiding and they wait for it to become the new normal before they do it again. In August 1996, I moved to Utah. 
I thought finally I can be in a neighborhood environment that is safe. I should have known better because of my parents. And it's even more abominable because Mormons are supposed to know better. We've got the scriptures, we've got additional scriptures that repeat the same be good message from the Bible and from Joseph Smith and yet and so as we are in the final months left to live on earth you're not gonna study why should you care <laughs> Just go back to eating drinking and getting married because you don't care that tomorrow you're gonna die by the hands of the enemy which is you you're a part of that enemy and you have no clue why and yet you do exactly what the enemy does and get mad at me and send me hate comments and death threats and demand that I deny Joseph Smith in the Book of Mormon because this is what Mormons do that makes them more abominable not only are they white supremacists in nature by being born and raised in the covenant they also deny our founder Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon the keystone of our doctrine and yet they pretend to be dumb so that they can have cause to attack me and hate me and threaten me and cause me to deny Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon and it's real simple all you have to do is read first Nephi Oh, the first book of the Book of Mormon. Chapter 1. Oh, the first chapter of the first book of the Book of Mormon. Verse 2. And apparently Mormons know nothing of it. And the church won't tell you. Purposely didn't footnote it. Purposely avoided certain footnote connections so that you won't get them. And yet, you still go around and declare Jesus is the Christ and that Joseph Smith is Christian, so you are. And you have no clue that you're a white supremacist by making such a statement. And thus why you attack me. My channel is supposed to be protected under the First Amendment. Not just for religion and free speech. Mormons, by their white supremacist inbred hatred, will not allow anyone else religious freedom and especially not a Mormon who studies and finds out the truth there's a parable in the New Testament Gospels about a beam and a moat it's in the section concerning how to judge other people but yeah, Christians also screw things up. That's where Mormons get it from. And so they only focus on judge not and ignore the rest of the chapter. The beam in the moat has to do with someone who makes a false accusation you know like Mormons towards me
because it reveals that they themselves are the ones who are guilty, and to a far worse degree, thus beam versus moat. Last night I did an hour and a half video of comment replies that the video was sabotaged and didn't record. Very frustrating. I still have the stuff that I had on a piece of paper here. We'll still use the same title that I intended for yesterday's and last night's video. I don't know if the other two stuff applies. That's national news stuff. But applies in the sense of the white supremacist behavior that's running our country. There was, however, in Utah news, that white supremacist attitude with new bills that are being proposed. And what happened to you guys here in Utah last year for taxes? It was found out that the legislature maliciously hiked up taxing on Utah to cause financial suffering for you guys. They tell the poor to live within their means, but as the government, they raise taxes to increase the level of the means. This is white supremacist tactics. And if you aren't rich enough to handle the increased taxes, then get out of Utah. This is just one of dozens that I've been going over with you over the years about how Utah is trying to purge Mormons who are unworthy from the land so that only the loyalists remain, the white supremacists. And so the drought and the housing crisis, the bigotry towards LGBTQIAPO+, the tax on women, the tax on other religions, not supporting the Jews, not supporting Ukraine, all of this is a concerted effort to misinterpret the scriptures to cause the division between the sheep and the goats the wheat and the tares. But as white supremacists, they're the tares, they're the goats, they're the chaff. And so the enemy is doing the separating. Not God. And then the other one was that uh, Senator Scott of Utah the state's senator for District 1 of Salt Lake County has now proposed a bill as I warned you about was coming and ta-da to no longer obey the federal government to be a sovereign state to secede from the nation that's what his bill is that if they don't like what the federal government tells them to do, they don't have to do it. And if the federal government doesn't like it, they can sue. That is the white supremacist attitude. Utah has proposed a bill to secede from the nation. Senator Scott. Scott Sandal. Now, it may not get approved, but he's Mormon. And the church have a 
direct influence on our legislature to make certain laws. So there you go. Church of Jesus Christ, Latter-day Saints, has now proposed to secede from the nation. So maybe I won't do the other title. I uh, also covered Autumn. She's the only one who replied. All the others did not reply back to me. And so when I say that, you go, I didn't hear you talk about anything about Autumn or any other people in this video, Travis. Are you really that dumb? Please tell me you're not that dumb. You came to a video. You can see that there's a channel. And you click on it, and it says that I've got a certain number of videos. Not just the one you clicked on. So this is white supremacist tactics of playing dumb so that they can pick a fight. My white supremacist fears and Mormons they want war if you go against them if you do not support the lies they want blood and they will fight you to the death right oh now you're getting scared they're cowards too that's why they puff up their peacock feathers when they're in the presence of other white supremacists. Because they know they, they've got others to back them up. But you isolate them and they reveal who they really are. Cowards. They would betray anyone to survive. And so, Autumn, the naive sweetheart that she is, was the one who focused her Come Follow Me message for this Sunday. No, next Sunday. This Sunday is the introduction lesson. For next Sunday, to focus chapters uh, or whatever the chapters are I think it's one through seven to focus on goodly parents and I've gone over with you in the video that I did that I I, I've seen the pattern over time and how it's changed from the still small voice to the still small feeling. And there was a comment that got deleted because of the technical difficulties, if not cyber terrorism, in which I, the guy pulled a naughty no-no. He made a comment to one of my commenters. Not to me. He wasn't wanting to talk to me. To put a comment on my channel, on my video. Instead, he was scanning other people's comments and found somebody and commented on them. And it wasn't abusive, as trolls do. I wasn't trying to incite the mob against me. 
I was just being left out of my own video. If you have a comment to make regarding the video, make the comment to me. Don't attach it to somebody else and claim that you're the authority on the subject matter to them when they got a comment and was approved. They came to me. They wanted my answer. They didn't want someone else. They didn't go to your channel. They didn't go to your videos if you make any. They came to me. They asked. I answered. Or they made a statement that I approved because it had to do with the video and was appropriate and they weren't being mean and abusive and denialism and all those other white supremacist tactics. But he was trying to claim that I was wrong, that it had nothing to do with what I would go on to talk about in another succeeding video <laughs> and have talked about numerous times over the past thousands of videos but he was trying to claim that Mark Hoffman was that pivotal moment from still small voice to still small feeling oh boy you are so naive he has no clue what the forged documents contained. He just thought that the prophets got fooled by forged documents and that therefore the church had to resort to still small feeling instead of still small voice. So that, you know, it's the right feeling about scriptures. The salamander letter, dumbass. What was the salamander all about? Oh, that Joseph talks to animals? Lizards? <laughs> it was about the authority to run the church. <sighs> so obviously this wasn't a Mormon, this was a critic. And critics, likewise, with Mormons, are white supremacists. They were Mormon! But they left the church because they studied and found out an issue that they disagreed with. And whether it had to do with women, whether it had to do with translation, whether it had to do with LGBTQIA, BL+, racism, tithing fraud, Whatever their issue, they left. But they didn't study because the church told them not to study. They don't know Mormonism. They know what they participated with. That's as far as their knowledge of Mormonism goes. And so when Carly... found her channel, said that she was reading through the Joseph Smith papers, and found out that this church can't be true. It's not Joseph's church. But there are forged documents, therefore. I'm so proud. But she still has the baggage of read, ponder, pray, get the right feeling. She just believes that the right feeling was that this church isn't Joseph's. She's not able to take it to the next level yet. She's still in the beginning stages. She's still just a baby. And so this is what I see with Autumn. She doesn't study her scriptures. She reads over the Book of Mormon with her mindset of being a young mother. 
She's trying to learn how to be a good parent herself. And that's fine. But she's missing out on a whole bunch of stuff that's kind of important to her. And this is what Mormons are not getting. The church purposely, all last year, avoided. If anything should cause you to leave the church, it's for what they did not tell you last year. It's in the Joseph Smith history, 1838. It's the second vision. Oops, it was 30. You all know it. You all get it wrong because you didn't compare it with the Joseph Smith papers. But nonetheless, what you know is that Moroni appears to Joseph in his bed, bedroom, by his bed, and he's naked. You all remember that, right? So all the paintings are wrong. It's supposed to be sheer. It's supposed to be able to see into his bosom. And so he says that he was a messenger, and his name was Moroni instead of Nephi. There was an evil disposed and designing person who made this change. You have to look at the Joseph Smith papers to find out who it would be. And sure enough, it says that your name will be had for good and evil among Mormons. And then he talks about a book. Gold Blades, it's the Book of Mormon. And of course, you study so you know all about how the Lehi's second vision is an exact pattern match for this. So when they then go on to the Urim and Thummim, you go, oh, okay, that's the star date for the latter days and the learning of the Jews of when the latter days would be. And you would know that it's the 23rd of September, 2017. Right? Because you're not Christian. You don't believe in Jesus. You're not a white supremacist, are you? And so then he starts quoting Malachi. Messenger. He was a messenger from the presence of God. He was a Malachi from the presence of God. Reads from Malachi, the messenger. Because you know Hebrew. See how it helps your learning? You aren't going to figure it out by reading, pondering, and praying and getting the right feeling. But he quotes the day that shall burn as an oven and adds, For they that come shall burn them. Who's them? Who is he talking to to Joseph Smith? Who's going to get burned? Exactly. So Mormons don't care to know. You get the prophets threatening you to pay tithing or you're going to get burned. You have no clue what that means. You have no clue that he's doing exactly like a godfather would do. I'm not talking about to a child that's newly born. I'm talking about a mafia man. And so I asked her, Autumn, what parenting examples can we learn from the learning of the Jews? In verse 2 of chapter 
because that has to do with the subject and has to do with her subject from that subject for the lesson. I'm not being mean. I'm not doing unto Mormons as they do unto me. You do know I didn't word that right. That was on purpose. And so she replied, not totally sure. Good answer. If only we can get apologists to start saying it more. And instead, they make boo-boos that gets the church in deeper trouble. Right, John Welsh? He did not reply. But then she did her speculation thing with feelings, but I'm sure Nephi learned a lot of them. She has no clue what they are, but whatever they are, I'm sure that Nephi knows a lot of them. This is the level of intelligence of Mormons. So now let's go over the comment replies. And I think all of them are hate. I don't see a Stanford. I don't see a Jasmine. <laughs> I don't see others who are positive. Yeah, all of them. Dear God. So Robert Russell, as Mormons do to me, so too did your ancestors do to Joseph. It's about the Danites. I did that video. That was the last one I did because the comment reply video failed. Yeah. Super sacred secret Mormon Danite combination of religious government, religion, religion, government, and economy. I've done those videos before. But he comes to one video. And I don't go into detail. I don't show documents. I don't show the financial receipts that I did in other videos. See, when I talk about stuff, it's because I've already mentioned them. I've already brought out the documents. I've already exposed the financial receipts. It's already established fact. The burden now is on you to do your study to find out that the church isn't true. Ah, did you see how I worded that? The burden is not on me to prove that I'm right about the church's claim that they are Christian and Jesus. The burden is on the church to prove that they're Christian and Jesus. That's their claim. So all I have to do is go, 1 Nephi chapter 1, verse 2, you're not, you're lying to us, you're false prophets, therefore you're not a true church. And so then they have to try to figure out some way to respond that convinces me that 1 Nephi chapter 1, verse 2 is wrong. <laughs> because ignoring it, not footnoting it, not talking about it, doesn't make it true. And so Robert says, please stop lying online. Remember that beam and moat thing? Who's lying, Robert? You're lying. Learning of the Jews, not Christian. I know you. You are a white supremacist. Get the hell off my channel. That should have been flagged by YouTube. But that YouTube Mormon employee, white supremacist.
Danon Riley, Riley, Riley. <clears throat> on cute returned Elias sister missionary, Carly, who studied, found out the church wasn't true. And so Danon, whether that's female or male, I don't know. What do you mean framed? Oh, way to stick to the topic of the video. You found something I was referring to that I've already done the videos and established as fact so that you could pounce, just like a white supremacist does. Didn't bother to check to see if I had other videos. You didn't even ask politely to be sincere. Instead, you're being rude in your asking, which tells me that you're not sincere, that you really don't want the answer. You're just here to cause a fight. And so you continue. I see nothing here but you giggling. Ooh, ad hominem. And not providing any details whatsoever. See? So pull out your beam and moat. This is embarrassing. Yeah, you're right. It is embarrassing how stupid you are that you didn't even bother to check my channel to see if I had other videos. And it could have been Joseph that I said was framed. Because this is, yeah, that would be the Danites again. And so let's go to the video page and we'll see if there are any videos on Danites. Okay, so four years ago, LDS Mormon Danites resurrected with Desnat. Travis Wayne Goodsell, the Lamanite, attacked by LDS Church Danites. One year ago. Three months ago, LDS Danites referencing original Danite forgeries as Joseph Smith scripture. One year ago, Utah Mormon sexual Brigham Young Danite deviance breaking news. Seven months ago, Danites framed Joseph Smith to cause American Civil War. Hey, gee, that was for Joseph Smith's death day. My annual tribute to Joseph Smith. There it was. But one year ago, Danites framed Joseph Smith into Liberty Jail and forged LDS scripture. We'll skip the one that was two days ago, because she didn't see that. Brigham Young Danites overthrow American Super Bowl 57, 2023, 10 months ago. One month ago, Bombshell breaking news, LDS Church confesses Section 119 forgery and posts Danite membership. That was part of the six hour series video that I did, series, or six videos, because that's two hours. but it has 15 videos in the series. Wow. And then May, and that looks like it. Although I do have LDS Mormon Church Mafia Crime Organization, LDS Church Nazi State of Indefinite Incarceration and Kidnapping, Brigham Young confesses he framed Joseph Smith for polygamy, Correctly comprehending Joseph Smith in the Book of Mormon and the learning of the Jews. So, yeah, all you had to do was do what I just did.
you know how to do it you just won't do it and so yes it's embarrassing how you humiliated yourself for not just doing a simple check on who I am and why I'm doing videos like this that I had more it's 3.4k on this channel notice I said this channel I don't do the other channel anymore you guys really are pathetic white supremacists are pathetic you think you're the tough guys but you're just like Lehman and Lemuel they turn black are you gonna turn black are you fence setters <laughs> now you're being racist Chad no that's from you guys remember learning of the Jews you interpreted it wrong I was putting it back on you using priestcraft I had to redo the title of that video because you guys are not paying as the attention that it needs section 119 I already went over it with you forged document and there Nelson who quoted from it over the pulpit of conference and is putting it to use going on vacation around the world even though he's leading you to believe that Peru is where the Nephites lived if only scientists could translate it correctly get the right feeling it was a reorganized church who believed that. So Ralph Riffle. It was excruciating to listen to you speak. And so you're listening as you're typing this out, rather than going away and leaving me alone and and putting the three dots and say, do not recommend this ever to me ever again. That's all you have to do. I have to do it because YouTube's algorithms can never figure out what I want to watch. They always tell me what to watch. I have no clue what I want to watch. AI sucks because it uses psychological behavioral programming. A fake field. And an enemy to this nation, by the way. And you say you only listen for one minute? In that time, I re reached an understanding of your mental condition. Ooh, you're a psychologist? In the fake field? I've gone over the videos numerous times. Psychology are bullies. And white supremacists pick up tips from psychologists on how to bully people. So good job. You've been brainwashed by a psychologist, Ralph. Beam and moat. See how it applies to all people who attack me. You have no claim against me. You cannot defend the church. You cannot defend the Book of Mormon. You attack me. Nobody is saying no, Travis. It says in, in Alma, chapter 16, verse 27, that, that blah, 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 blah. Nobody's doing that. These are all personal attacks of hate. These are ad hominem fallacy arguments. It means falsehood. You have nothing to defend the church with. Your feelings got hurt. Telling you with sincere, sincerely, you mean sincerity? See again, you're lying to me. You're not sincere when you say you need, I need help. This should have been flagged, YouTube. 
My comment has nothing to do with the video subject. Oh, no, duh. <laughs> the first seven minutes is Nelson Clips. Repeated. Plain and Prejudice. I think. Didn't I do that? I'm pretty sure I did that. Yeah, I did that. And so he never got to me. Where I then comment on it. Where Nelson himself posts on Facebook, thank you for making me rich. <laughs> and there's Ralph, defending the church by tearing it down because when you attack me you destroy the church this is emulating what the church teachings are teaching you and so if I wasn't a Mormon and I was just doing this video I found this video about Nelson and it says that he got rich from the Mormons and he's out in Peru and I got that kind of a comment I would never want to join your church ever again. That's what the missionaries did to James and Jasmine. For James, it was fence-sitting. For Jasmine, it was polygamy. The missionaries couldn't explain it. James and Jasmine did research. They went to the Joseph Smith papers. They found out the truth. Missionaries are lying to them to get them baptized to pay money and so then we have buy five flyer for Isaiah owns Mormons all caps with a question mark are you venting get the hell off my channel you're not listening to the message You're more concerned with my nature and character. You disapprove. All you have to do is leave. It's all you gotta do. And if I'm really that abominable to you, there's the three dots. And you go, do not recommend ever again. In the beginning, Mormons tried to report me. Oh, he's being mean to our religion. No, you're being mean to Joseph Smith's religion and the Book of Mormon. Beam and moat. You can't attack a religion, even if it is your founding that you replaced. But that's what white supremacists do. this works this time. 